everyone, welcome back to Ventertron's Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. And uh, in the last episode we ended at the Repcon facility, and I decided that it would be a good idea to travel back to uh, Novak and visit the gift shop and do some inventory management. So I actually ended up selling a schwack load of stuff, and I made 1500 caps. And I also bought a specific gun. Um, it's called That Gun, which is this one here. So, um, it's supposed to work quite well. And I also have in my possession, which I didn't realize Eddie was carrying, uh, a shovel. So what we can do is we could head over to um, this grave here and see what's in them. 12 gauge round and 9 millimeter round. Excellent. Could always use uh, more ammo, so that's a good thing. So now what we need to do is head back to the Repcon facility and continue on with our quest. So here we are back at the Repcon facility, and uh, we finished off on the second floor. We still had a few rooms to discover, so we're going to go in and do that. And the room that we had left off in there was actually a safe, which we had to uh, lockpick. So let's head on inside. Ooh. All right. So. Uh, let's head upstairs. Eddie, get out of the way. God. So let's head up back. So this facility actually can be quite confusing um, if you don't know your way around. So, um, but you, I think that we, the quests that we do, um, we have to go in and out of this area so many times that it becomes familiar. So this is the room that we left off in. And if you remember, um, we had the safe that we had to pick. So I actually picked the lock in the previous, at the end of the previous episode to save you the time. And um, we just have to check out and see what's in there. So 10 millimeter pistol. Excellent. Jet pre-war money. Two stealth boys and a stim pack. Awesome. We will use all of those. And what I'll do for the time being is I will repair my 10 millimeter pistol. I know that we were supposed to hurry. Uh, the guy in the intercom told us to hurry, so this must be the front desk. Yes, okay. Um, but I want to explore all of this before we go any further, so. Always check these, if you see books on a shelf, sometimes skill books will be hiding amongst those. Um, so always check when you see a bunch of books. Just kind of like scroll over them and see if there is anything that you might be missing, because you never know. So, okay, and now we're back out. So this is the hallway that we covered. Oh crap, there's a ghoul somewhere. Eat this! Uh, okay, Boone is on it, but I'm just gonna kinda let him do his thing. So we were in that room, that's the one with the safe, this is the one we went into, and then we basically went in a big circle. And then over here, I think, leads to the right side of the facility where we had originally come up. And we didn't actually explore this kitchen, so I wanna check this out first before we go any deeper and fight those ghouls. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll be back and they would 
they will have already killed them for me. <laughs> okay, so I need some water. So I think what I'll do is I will drink these and squirrel stew, nuka colas. And the barrel cactus fruit. Which didn't really help all that much. So. Bottle caps. Excellent. And I think that we already looted him. Yeah, that's right. So then this leads back down to where we were. Oh, there's another ghoul. Okay, this gun kind of sucks, but... Oh, it's alright. It's alright. I just don't know how to aim, that's all. Okay, who's next? Eddie's going into combat mode here. Okay, which way do we go first? I think we should go right first. Okay, that's a big room. And... That is a nightkin. And that is a big room. Okay. And that leads down to somewhere. I don't know. There is a part of uh, what we were previously exploring that I forgot to show you guys. Um, so I just want to go back here quickly. Into... I think it's this room here. Nope. This room? Oh, this door is locked. See? even There's even stuff that I'm missing. So this tool cabinet. Yeah. You don't want to miss this. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, doo -doo -doo. Eddie, please move out of the way. God. No, there's a room. Uh, I can't remember where it is. Perhaps it's back on this side. Yes. So this room. Um, this half we forgot to explore and there's computer terminals and stuff um, that we need to look into. So Public Kitchen. So you can pause and read this if you want. Uh, I'll just quickly go through them. So this is just old data logs from when the company used to be in operation. Sometimes these messages can reveal little secrets, but uh, this doesn't look like it's anything important. Just backstories, which is kind of interesting to read sometimes. So, Mm-hmm. Same, same thing as the previous. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Another desk. And some filing cabinets. And another desk here. And some office space back here. See, I, I'm glad that I didn't miss this because there's actually a lot of stuff back here that um, you guys could use. Martin's retirement. Hey Gordon, I was as surprised as you were to hear about Martin's retirement. It seemed that things were going so well. Party sounds like a great idea. I'm sure he'll love to see everyone on his last day. Let me know if there is anything that I can do to help Emily. Aw, oh, that's so considerate. <laughs> Okay, door here, which leads to, oh god, another big room. Okay, so uh, let's just finish this one here. Cake. 
Are you kidding me? We've been planning Martin's party for months now and you forgot to order the cake? There is no way we are going to find some place to deliver one out here on this kind of notice. Go to the break room and find something for everyone to eat at the party. Poor Martin. He's not going to have any cake for his retirement. Or he didn't, I guess. Because this is in the past, right? Ah, oh, why did I take that? I didn't want that. Okay, so let's continue on. So I think this is where we were previously. This is the Nightkin that, yeah. Ashpile, Nightkin, yeah. So, and this is where we were, we're not. That's the door that we, yeah, to the Repcon basement. We will deal with that after. For the time being, we'll continue on exploring uh, up here. So that is the entrance to the offices once again. This is where we were. And what is back here? That's the room. Okay, so let's go investigate the big facility uh, warehouse back here. And then we can head up to the third level. Here's another nightkin, and I think that was a ghoul under that door. Ah, oh, come on, you guys, get out of my way. I like this gun. Works well. Is that it for ghouls in here? I guess so. Ooh, mutilated leg. Gross. I don't really want that. And Brahmin. And Brahmin. And... Doesn't look like there's really anything around here. But we can head up. I bet you that goes to where we're supposed to be. So... And where does this door lead to? Hmm. This is new. No? Yes. Yes, this area is new. Okay. Man, this place is so confusing. Oh no, this is where we were. This is where we were. It's just a little bit... That goes up to a different area that we haven't been in yet. So, I'm just gonna check these filing cabinets. Okay. And. I checked those already. Okay, so, two choices. We can. Continue up on this one, which I think we should. Yeah, let's do that. Because there's a rocket. Maybe we could, like, blast off into outer space. Probably not, though. And you don't want to fall here. You'll probably die. Okay. And a table with nothing... And yes, so that's where we need to be, I think, yeah. All right, smooth skin, I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Okay, here we go into the research labs. Upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. What the heck? This guy's not a ghoul. I think he's got uh, multiple personality disorder. Uh. <laughs> Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on. Okay. Stop wasting my. Okay, go talk to Jason. I think I'll holster my weapon for now. And let's, uh, 
explore this floor first before we go upstairs. Yeah, lots to explore here. And we probably can't take, yeah, we can't take any of this stuff. So. Nope, doesn't look like we can take any of this. That's okay. Um, we've done enough, enough looting. Can't even loot the garbage can, for Christ's sake. Hey. Who are these people? I don't speak with outsiders. Smooth skins, especially. Okay, fine. Our leader, Jason Bright. Boone, don't shoot anybody. We are on good terms with these people. Okay, let's go upstairs and talk to Jason. That's weird. Bright follower. Bright follower. Okay. Where is where is the Jason? Oh. First aid. Can't steal that either. Is this Jason? No. Dun dun dun. So what kind of operation they got going on over here? Is this must be Jason? Jason Bright. Jeez. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. What? Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Shh, um, here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Well, I have. Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. And now they are lost the forever. The demons must Denied have let them out. He must be referring to the Nightkin. The glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. Okay. If there are any... Um, tell me more about the demons. I think he's talking about the Nightkin, so I won't bother with that. Who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Okay. Uh, your last name is Bright. That's funny. An auspicious name, don't you think? Yeah. It was mine before I became as I am now. Oh. Before the great war even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. Right. Crazy. We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. Don't we all? Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete. Okay. How will you make the journey? What is this far beyond? What's the deal with the human who let me in? I need to get going. Okay, so... How will you make the great journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. Okay. Uh, what is the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. What's the deal with the human who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. Okay. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Uh, tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us. 
but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Uh, okay. So you say one of the demons raved at you. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Uh, I'll take care of them for you. Yeah, sure. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Okie dokie. All right, so we spoke with Jason. Uh, we completed one of the quest items, and now the next thing that we have to do is go to the basement and get rid of the nightkin. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll end the video here, and we'll pick up in episode uh, 26. And if you like this episode, uh, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.